Hi there, my name is Jack, and I am a sales manager for a fleet company. In our company, we use Anata Dynamics IDMS, a powerful management solution which is built as an add-on to Microsoft Dynamics AX, and is specifically designed to support the automotive, equipment, rental, and fleet industries. Anata Dynamics IDMS is used to cover industry-specific needs throughout the entire life cycle of a product, all within one solution. An increasingly popular way of buying a device is to pay by installments through a leasing contract. Some contracts are based on paying an amount per month for 24 or 36 months and then handing the device back. Other contracts are what are called lease sale, which means that the customer keeps the device at the end of the payment period. The starting point of a lease sale is a sales order. From the sales order list page, I click on the icon to create a new sales order. Having selected the customer, I now have a blank sales order. Clicking on Item Browser to directly select the device that the customer wants. The Item Browser includes a tree structure on the left-hand side, and I can use this to search for the device. I can narrow down the search by clicking on New Vehicles, then on Mercedes Vehicles, and even further by clicking on the CLS class. As you can see, in the main body of the item browser, I only have four models within this class. In the top section, if I click on one of the models and then expand the device section, I am able to see all of the devices that match my search criteria. From this list, I can select a specific device, which then appears on the Selected Items tab, and click on OK so that the information is transferred to the sales order. As you can see here, in the line section, I can click on the IDMS icon and I am going to select Create Contract. The Create Contract form needs to be completed with a start date and the number of periods for the lease, 24 months in this example. In the Contract Line section, I have selected the charge line that will appear on the monthly invoice that the customer will receive. Once I have filled in this information, I can click on OK to create the contract. I can now see the contract itself. But at this stage, it is not yet active. It is possible for me to create a payment schedule for the contract. To do this, I click on the Manage button in the Line section and select Payment Schedule. On the Payment Schedule, I can select the Interest Rate Group and enter the residual value of the device at the end of the term of the lease. The system then calculates the monthly payments due for the customer. I can now post the contract so that it is active. This means that every month, until the end of the contract, an invoice will be raised and sent to the customer. And this is an example on how we use Anata Dynamics IDMS to cover our fleet management needs. You can now take a look at how other companies are using IDMS by checking the next videos. Thanks for watching.